Today, I will show you how to connect your MyDesigns account to Merge Titans, which is an upload automation tool. And this will essentially allow you to use the designs that you have stored within MyDesigns and also upload them to Merge by Amazon, to Redbubble or TeePublic, all of the platforms that Merge Titans integrates with. And additionally, I'll also quickly show you how to use Vision AI's new feature to write Amazon Merge listings with AI. So before I show you how to connect the two tools, you need to understand how to set up your data properly within MyDesigns for that connection to work seamlessly. And this might take a few minutes to explain, but once you've got it down, then every time you do this, it's gonna be very quick and easy. There's essentially two different methods to this. The first one is a scenario where you've got a bunch of designs, you've just uploaded them to a MyDesigns collection and you have no data whatsoever. This is kind of the easier way. So in this case, all you have to do is head up to templates, then click on load templates at the bottom and find the Merge Titans automation one. Then you want to click on install and this will update your collection with the correct data fields that we need for Amazon Merge and for some of the other marketplaces right here with the tags section. Now, you can also select this template whilst you're actually creating a collection in your in your folder system up here, by the way. You can just click on the drop down and find the Merge Titans automation one there. However, what is probably going to be the case for most people is that you already have a collection set up with a lot of data for Etsy. So we've got a title, description and tags right here, as well as some mockups that have been configured. And if you just go ahead and install a new template, in this case, you would lose a lot of this data, which we obviously want to avoid. But don't worry, this is where the second method comes in that I'm going to teach you right now. So we once again have to head over to the templates but this time we're going to focus on this section right here. And first thing you need to do is click the plus symbol, which is going to add a new data layout. And I'm going to uh, select edit layout right here and give it a new name. I call this Merge Titans. Update layout. And now you can see by default, it has three different data fields, title, description, and tags. That is meant for Etsy. So we need to now amend this layout so we have all of the data fields that we need for Merge Titans. First of all, the title, this one obviously has to stay there, but I'm going to change the character limit because the limit on Amazon Merch for the characters in the title is 60. So you click into this pen symbol here and then change this to 60 and update. Description, I'm going to do the same, but change this to 2000 instead. And the tags, I'm going to amend and actually make this 20 tags in our case. Now we need to add some extra fields, which you do up here with the add fields section who would have thought so you need to give this um, a new name now we need bullet one for amazon and that should be a text field with a maximum number of characters of 256 click plus and now bullet two is exactly the same um, hit plus as well so now we've got the two bullets we've got some tags right here and um, the only thing that's missing for amazon is brand so we'll name this brand text field once again the character limit there is 50 plus and the last thing would be a T public main tag right here. There, the field type has to change. So we'll adjust this to tags instead. For this one on T public, the main tag field only has one single tag in it, one single keyword. So I'll change the max right here to one and then click plus at the end. And now we have all of the fields we need. It's just a bit of a mess. So let me rearrange this. Um, you can hover over these little handles right here. Then you will see a hand symbol pop up and then you can click and drag these things around. So I'll move the brand name underneath the title. I think I will also um, probably move the description over here underneath the bullets. So it kind of looks like Amazon Merch. And then we can have the tags right here at the bottom. I think that's pretty, pretty easy to understand and work out what's what. Now, all that's left essentially is clicking on save changes at the top, update template. And as you can see, we've still got all of our old data and we've just had this extra tab add it to the end. So now if we double click on Merge Titans, it's going to open up that field for all of the listings and we can uh, proceed to now fill in this data, which I'm going to show you in the next step. But first of all, a quick bonus tip, head back to the template section and save this as a private template ideally because once you've saved this given it a relevant name then you can use this in future when you start a new collection and then you will always have 
like all of these fields set up and ready for all platforms. Essentially, you'll have your data for Etsy and you will also have your data for Merch Titans and you won't have to start from scratch. So save it as a private template to make your life easier in future. And now let's take a look at how to fill in this data right here. There are different ways to do it for sure. So you could kind of do it manually and go through these one by one, fill in the data and be very precise with what you have in terms of the keywords. You could also select all listings, head to all actions and use edit in bulk. This is a very handy tool that my designs has where you can change the field that you're affecting. So let's say we wanted to affect the brand name right here. We could give all of these listings the same brand name by just typing something in and hitting apply to selected listings. You can also change the action to lots of different things like find and replace, find and delete, overwrite, etc. out of front. So bulk edit is definitely really handy when creating listing data. However, there is some quicker ways to do this, which I'm going to show you in this video. I'm kind of going to show you like the quickest method to fill out this data for you to use. So make sure you have all listings selected. And the first thing we will do is open Vision AI. They've recently updated this and now you can select the platform as well. So before we could only use this for Etsy. Now we can also select Amazon Merge. This is still in beta, so it's definitely going to get better and be updated over the next few weeks or months. But for now, this is already pretty handy to fill out the Amazon Merge data more quickly. So let's actually begin by mapping these fields because at the moment, the title field right here is actually defaulting to our Etsy title field in the listing. So we need to scroll down to these Merge titans fields right here so they've got this extra tag those are the ones where we want to save the data so we'll have this title selected for the description we do the same scroll down to merge titans brand name that's already mapped correctly bullet one is also correct and bullet two again it's mapped that one correctly by default and now all you have to do is click generate listing data, click yes, run Vision AI. And there we go. We've got the data filled in very, very quickly and effectively. I personally would give these all the same brand name so you can still overwrite that field if you wanted to. Also, like it does add gift to the bullets. That's potentially something they will update in future versions. But if you wanted to get rid of the word gift, you could just head up to all actions, edit in bulk. You could go to bullet one, find and delete, and then, you know, have gift deleted from the listing that way, just as a, as a quick tip, if, if that's something you wanted to do. But basically now the data has been filled in for the uh, title brand, the bullets and the description, which is good. The only thing missing is T public main tag and the tags overall for those other platforms. And the quickest way to generate these is, first of all, we need a primary keyword. So if we click on the keywords tab, we've got some fields right here that are all empty. All of these designs are in the teaching niche, so I can just fill these out with the edit in bulk function. I will change this right here to primary keyword and just add teacher as the primary keyword. Click apply, yes, update listings. And now we've got a primary keyword which will help us generate the tags for these other platforms. If your designs are not in the same niche, then you, know, you could quickly run through this and give each one a primary keyword. And now all that's left is, once again, make sure you have everything selected. Click on all actions and bulk tags. This is a really cool feature that uses Redbubble to find relevant tags for your primary keyword. So change this field to primary keyword. Then for the tags, this right here is where the tags will be saved into. So I will actually choose uh, tags right here, merge titans, that's the field that we want because the one at the top is the Etsy tags. So if we click on this, I'm going to choose 20 tags in this case for the limit and click generate. Yes, generate tags. And then very quickly, this job should be done right here. And yeah, there we go. Add a lot of tags for us to this. The only thing that's left is the T public main tag, which you can do the same way. But because again, this is clearly for teachers, we could just add that as the main tag with the bulk feature. So field, we we'll go down to T public main tag and add teacher right here. Just need to click on plus or enter for that to actually turn into a tag. And then we can hit apply. Yes, update the listings. And now there we go. All of this data has been filled in and we can actually have it imported into Merge Titans and upload it to the other marketplaces as well. 
So now we've come to the part where we connect my designs to merged titans and this whole you know listing data part did take quite a while to explain but as I said once you've got it down it'll be very quick and easy it's just that I like to go in depth with these tutorials so that you know what's going on and what uh, what you actually have to do so that's why it takes a bit longer to go through the process however to connect the tools you need to open up your settings tab right here on the left hand side and go to tokens and then you want to generate a new token you can give this a name such as MTA for Merge Titans Automation or you call it Merge Titans whatever you want and then click generate token then you want to copy it with this button and head over to the Merge Titans Automations launcher right here so what you want to do in here is click on upload file and then select my designs and this is where we have to paste our token and click OK and then it is going to connect the two tools and pull up all of your folders all of your collections that you have saved within my designs the most recent collection will be at the very bottom as you can see right here merge titans alt this is the one that I was just editing so if you want to upload that collection then you just click on select and there we go you get a pop-up that says please ensure that you correctly map the my designs fields to the corresponding fields of the platform you're uploading to. This is very important and I'll show you how to do it. This can be done within the advanced settings section under each platform's settings. So we click OK and here you get a quick overview of the data. This is the Etsy data and those are the fields that we just configured for Merge Titans. So there we go, we can just click on back. That's been loaded successfully and now we come to the part of mapping the fields for the platforms that we want to upload to. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to upload to Amazon Merch, but it works pretty much the same for the other platforms. So you'll have to head to the corresponding platform on the left right here and configure a few settings. First of all, the default settings for Amazon Merch right here that you have. One that's quite interesting is the use publish settings template. That way, whatever you have saved as a template on Amazon Merch, that's what it will use. The same colors, the same pricing, and that just makes the upload process a lot quicker. You can also have it saved as a draft, and that way you can do an extra trademark check and sort of have the final power over actually publishing the design. And But you can change these around if you want to do it differently. But the important part is that you need to open up the advanced settings right here at the bottom and then map the data fields correctly. I believe they're going to update this so that Merge Titans sort of automatically guesses these fields better and kind of has them set up properly by default. But at the moment, all of these are pretty much incorrect. Yeah, so we need to help Merge Titans understand where the correct data is essentially. In the title field, we need to uh, change this to scroll down to Merge Titans title. So that's the right one right here. Then the description, same thing. You open this up and scroll down to where it says Merge Titans description. And the same goes for the other fields. In this case, obviously, we don't need like the TeePublic main tag. That is just if you were uploading to TeePublic, then you would have to go into the sidebar right here, select TeePublic and map the field correctly in there. So there we go. This is what yours should look like if you gave them the same names as I did. And the cool thing is now we can just start the upload. We don't have to download any files, anything else. It is just automatically going to pull that data through from my designs. We can click start right here. And now, as you can see, it's launched Chromium. It's uploading the uh, first teaching design is just using the template as it was and it is adding the listing data at the bottom that's also going through and changing the background color um, for the pop sockets etc which by the way you can affect that in the color settings right here that's where you essentially change the color for those products to your desired one. But there we go. Once this is done, it only takes a few seconds per design. It's going to save it as a draft or publish it depending on your settings and then move on to the next one. Pull the data through from there. And there we go. That is how to connect my designs to merge titans. If you still have any questions, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will try and help you out. If you need help more quickly, you can also reach out to the My Designs support team or the Merge Titans support team if it if it's about this process. And if you're new to My Designs, I would highly recommend you check out this video next, where I share seven tips and tricks regarding the workflow and helping you speed up your processes with My Designs.